we have one more question from the chapter uh, quadratic equation class 10 it says a bus travels at a certain average speed of 75 km and then travels a distance of 90 km at an average speed of 10 km per hour more than the first so let's say for example i say the total journey is from a to b and i took this point as a this as b and let's say the first 70 kilometer 75 kilometer right say so this is point c this is the first 75 kilometer right and the other as 90 kilometer these are the two distances covered right that is first 75 kilometer in the first go and from a to c and then 90 kilometer now we have to find out uh, the average speed so what i can say take that let the average speed for a to b in the first case is x kilometer per hour and uh, what does it say is that uh, the speed that with which he is traveling the later part is that is 90 kilometer and that is how much it is 10 kilometer per hour more than the first so it's very obvious that if this part is a to c if it is traveling with a speed right speed of 10 kilometer per hour the speed for the later part has to be x plus 10 kilometer per hour so you can write down the uh, these steps that let the original speed be x and the the speed uh, uh, from the next part that is uh, c to b or the average speed for the next second case is x plus 10 kilometer and then you'll say according to question or you can do one thing you can find out the time in the first case so i'm calculating time as you know time is equal to distance over speed it is distance over speed so time if i say in the first case say t1 distance travel as i can see is 75 and the speed is x so it's 75 over x similarly if i find the time in the second case using same relation distance upon speed distance is 90 and the speed with which is traveling is x plus 10. further as you read the question it says that it takes three hours to complete the whole journey that clearly says that the sum of these two time that means time in the first case plus time in the second case should give you how much three now simply replacing t1 with its value that is 74 over x and t2 with its value that is 90 over x plus 10 is equal to 3. This is uh, what we obtained a relation. Now we have to convert this into a quadratic equation. So for that we'll be taking LCM. I'll solve this on the other section of the page. So this is, uh, if I take LCM, clearly the LCM is going to be, LCM is going to be X multiplied by X plus 10. So this will come as 75 times X plus 10. And this will come as 90 times X. That is equal to three. Now with further solving, it is 75 X plus 750 plus 90 X that divided by x into x is x square plus 10x is equal to 3. Clearly now we'll be doing cross multiplication. So I'm doing the cross multiplication. So this is 3 times. I'm multiplying this with this, right? So it should give you what? This will give you 3x square plus 30x. And on the other side, I can see this plus this. These are like terms, right? As you can see here, this is 70x. 75x and this also is in terms of x right these are like terms so we can add them and say this will give you 165 x plus 750 actually i took it as one and then i did cross multiplication now simplifying it by writing in the standard form this will give you 30x minus 165 right what i'm doing here this 30x right and minus 165x 
right? If you transpose on the other side, it will be minus. So this will give you minus 135x minus 750 equal to zero. This is how we formed a quadratic equation. After obtaining this quadratic equation, we will, I can say I can reduce it by taking three as common. If I take three as common, I'll get x squared minus four times is 12, five times 15 plus x minus 250 equal to zero. Next, we need to solve this. So I need some space here. Right. So now for the next solving, I'm going to factorize 250 and from the factors of 250, we will obtain 40. So it is uh, 250. Yeah, let's do by 5, 550 times. Yes, we got it. So we are going to write this. Let's say 3 will be, uh, become on transposing other side. It will become 0. Or you can say that 3, three into some number is 0. So 3 cannot be 0, right? So at the end, it is this number is 0. So you may write one more step. That is x square minus 45x minus 250 equal to 0. This is x square. Mm, and then it is minus 50x and plus 5x minus 250 equal to 0. It should be clear, I suppose, this I've split 45x. Now I can take uh, x as common, so it is x minus 50. And when I take 5 as common, I'll again get x minus 50 equal to 0. So finally, it is x minus 50 and x plus 5. So now what next? Uh, we should equate this with 0. On equating this with 0, we'll get, here I'm doing, we'll get x as equal to 50 or x is equal to minus 5. As you know, this is not possible. Speed, distance, sorry, x is speed. Speed cannot be negative. So I can say x. And that is what they have asked for. Find its first speed. And this first speed we got as x, which is 50 kilometer per hour. That's the final answer for this.